Hello friends and welcome, I'm Mordex and this is Let's Play Cthulhu Saves the World. Last episode we uh, got some fancy items, we got uh, zombie armor for Cthulhu. Did we miss that? Yeah we did. Well shoot, let's go back for it. I'm gonna skip to that. Okay, let's see what is in the chest. Oh, three potions, jeez. That was, seems like a waste. Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. That's what I usually don't say. I'm getting pretty dang low on MP here, so... But again, they give uh, tend to give save points before the boss. So... I'll just have to be a little more conservative. Ooh. What does it do? I think I might just escape. Well, no, whatever. Whatever. Flood. Tempest. Then we'll just finish it off with attacks. There we go. Oh, level up. Right on. Dark Blast hits one enemy, dark attack adds insanity, or Dark Blast hits one enemy, combo finisher. So a powerful attack with insanity, or uh, even stronger attack if there's a significant combo with, well that's it, just a combo finisher. Um... I've already got, with Sharp and Cthulhu, I've got whatever it is, like the Death Blow or something, that does a large amount of combo breaker damage. So I think I'm going to go with the case where I don't have a lot of combo. Strength and Magic or HP MP? Uh, she seems like she's got a pretty good amount of HP and MP. So we'll go with Strength and Magic. Get a little better utility. Ooh. You find a young woman fighting for her life against a group of zombies. Oh no, we have to rescue her. Umi's so concerned. Fireball! October! What a name. Fried zombie. Well done, zombie. What? Cthulhu? Why am I still sane? Oh, don't worry about that. He's one of the good guys now. That was pretty awesome how you burned those zombies. Most impressive, young lady. I could use a mage of your considerable talents. What do you say? Me? I'd be honored to serve you, Dark Lord. I like her. Dark Lord? She is obviously a practitioner of the dark arts and as such knows all about me. Yes, I'm October, a necromancer. When I can't, that's funny, she's like the most chipper necromancer ever. When I heard about the zombie uprising, I came here immediately. Unfortunately, my power is too weak to take control of this many zombies. I'll wager it's no ordinary necromancer who has created the chaos here. No, I imagine it's the deity, Nyarlathotep, who is behind this. A deity? Have no fear. Nyarlathotep is naught but a fly compared to my awesome power. A power that will be even greater with a talented necromancer at my side. It is a pleasure to meet you all. October has joined the party. I sense a powerful force in the eastern part of the city. Let's go. All right, I want to check out October here. She's got a huge amount of MP and a decent amount of health. No techniques, fireball, dark blast, and quake. So we haven't seen quake yet, and we don't know what flavor of dark blast she has. No passive abilities, so cool. Uh, where do we go? South. All right. Death blow there. Magic flood. Magic tempest. 
So this adds insanity with a the one large hit, so it's the same one I just selected with Cthulhu. Fire attack on one group, all enemies, quake. Earth combo earth attack combo finisher. Um Let's do that. Man, that zombie cop is holding up pretty well. Hey, October leveled up. Nice. It seems like they give you the characters right before they level up. It seems to keep happening. Extra MP after victory. Uh, is that for everybody? Or extra magic? Yes, please. Are you kidding me? It seems amazing. You're a zombie. No. I want my mommy. Mommy will be back soon, dear. Nope. I want my mommy. Okay, they say the same thing. Cat Dictionary. How useless. Maybe not. What if a cat joins our group? Ha ha ha. How ridiculous would that be? Okay. I'm going to call it right now. I bet there's a cat that's going to join our group. I bet there is. Hmm. What to do? Lutenicles, Flood, Tempest, and Firewall. Bang. 7 MP. So I'll have to keep a half an eye on how much we heal to see if it uh, has in fact increased. I think it must. I'm trying to find out what's up north there. Do tentacles, do flood, tempest. Actually, he needs more... He needs more... Um, what do you call it? Magic. Bang! Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, what's up here? I think this is the right way to go. I also feel like I haven't saved in a while. So I'm gonna backtrack. Attack there, magic, flood, attack there, magic, quake. Then you should be able to just attack the rest of the way. Awesome. 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 You open the drawer and find a wonderful collection of cobwebs and venomous spiders. You quickly close it. Yes, I do. Magic flood. Attack the jerk. Magic quake. Maybe it's just me. I feel like the zombie cops have been a lot more durable recently. You find a completely blank book. That's good. Yeah, here we go. Alchemist dress. Why do I think that's for October? Nope. Umi armor. Vitality and will with extra poison? Or lovely dress? Vitality, um, a little bit of vitality, a little bit of will. This is a lot of will, a lot of vitality, and agility. Cool. I feel like I missed something west of here. Though this is probably just another way through. Hey lady, man, she looks really creepy. I just finished paying off this house. There's no way I'm leaving now, even if the city's infested with zombies. That's lit dedication, ladies and gentlemen. Can I go in here somehow? Nope, 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 I can't. I saw there was a chest up here. Just need to figure out how to get over there. Knock on wood, it seems like we've... Oh, nice, two one-ups. It seems like we've not encountered battles for a while, so I think we may have finally hit our... Our legal limit. None for me, say thanks, officer. I'm driving. All right. 
Now we can kind of speed things along. That's sort of nice that they do that. So if you get to your 25 quota, you've gotten a certain minimum amount of strength that you've gotten or had a chance to build up in each of the zones. That's dumb. Why is that a thing? Oh yes, the dead ends. The dead ends. The the dead ends in the zombie town. I'll be here all week, folks. Is this how we get through? Jeez. Stop dancing. Pay attention to me. How do we get through? Jeez. Alright, I am officially confused. Confused. Maybe I have to go up north and around? This looks like a path. Yeah, here we go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I thought we were all badly stuck and stuff. Hey buddy, you dancing? Are they all thriller dancing? Why do I think they're all thriller dancing? Dang it. Alright, this looks promising. You try pulling out various books, but no secret passage appears. It just throws them on the floor. Why do they call them drawers anyway? Shouldn't they be called drawers? Or rectangular box thingies that go in and out? Why would I call them drawers? Drawer. Oh, here's the thing. Ooh, secret passage. Bane sword. That sounds awesome. Cthulhu weapon, Bane sword. 100% damage to undead. With a little bit less strength. Um. Hmm. How much do I want to bet that Nyarlathotep is undead? I don't think he is, because he's a deity. I'll stick with this. This works for now. You try opening the drawers, but it is stuck. You find birthday cards and party favors in the drawer. Since none of you are having a birthday anytime soon, you leave them there. Talk about dead weight, right? Let's see, I can go north. That looks like the right way, so I'm gonna go south. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. These shelves are so dusty that you almost consider pulling out a feather duster and cleaning them up. Just in time, you realize that the world pro will probably lose control. Would probably. Oh, man. Just in time, you realize that this would probably lose you cool points, and so you refrain. Somehow that was hard for me to read. I don't know what's uh, going on there. The Kitty Inside, the mostly true autobiography of Mr. Tittles. You open the book, eager to, eager to read its contents, but it's empty. Guess we'll need to play another RPG to find out more. Maybe they have the other half in Death of Breath 7, the beginning. You find a copy of the delightful children's tale, Pop Goes the Hamster, a cautionary tale. Ew! Cautionary indeed! I like that. It's a pop-up version of The Girl Who Loved Crazy Killer Clowns. You got some weird books going on in here. Okay, what was the point of that? Are you serious? That didn't help anything. Alright, well, everything, not everything can be not a dead end. Where are we going? I gotta go up, that's right. You find a statue of a black bird. Looks valuable, but it's actually a fake. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, feels like we haven't saved in a while, though we haven't gotten in a fight in a while either. It's a nice acceleration thing just to get on with it once you've 
sort of met the prerequisite number of things that you've killed. Oh, a pile of gold. You discover a... What is that word? Betalinge of rubber ducks. I'll have to look that up. Betalinge. Never seen that before. If you know what that word means, post in the comments, and you are... You, sir, are a better man than I. You're like, huh, who's this Morjax? He doesn't even know what Betalinge means. <laughs> what a noob. What a noob. Uh, you know, I think this save point right here might be a good place to stop. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave me a like, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, tune in next time for Let's Play Cthulhu Saves the World.